So guys, in the previous video, I've showed you how to create a function block and how to create an interface for this function block uh, with a structure. Today, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a template for this interface or how to create a template for any interface uh, for any interface or for any object that you liked. The object, of course, can be a pump, can be a motor or something like that. For my object, I've chosen a really simple one. Uh, that's a random number generator. If you've missed the previous video, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can uh, go ahead and watch it. I'm not going to go in too much details uh, how to uh, create a visualization, etc, etc, because that's going to take a while. I'm just going to focus on the, um, on the template and why you should use a template uh, in your projects. So let's start. First, I'm going to create a new visual. This is going to be my main visual. And I'm going to use this visual to um, put the template in it. First of all, I'm going to show you uh, how you should not um, visualize your objects uh, in the visualization of courses. Let's say our interface has an execute, has a minimum value for our random number, has a maximum value, has a result and done bit. So I'm just gonna um, create these fields um, as a text, I'm going to put pros, uh, percent %i, that means I'm going to pass integers, and under the color, I'm going to change the color of the state, we don't want to have it white, so let's say blue, and we can uh, change the font of the text, let's say, let's make it white. Of course, uh, we can change the size, so we can choose from those sizes or we can create a size on our own. Um, let's put 14, that's good. And I'm going to make the element a little bit beautiful. So let's say I'm going to need this field for my minimum value. I'm going to create a second field for my maximum value. I'm going to create a third uh, field for my result, but let's make a difference. Let's put the result as a, in another color, uh, let's say dark green. That's okay like this. I'm going to need a, a button uh, for my execute. Let's make it like this. Somewhere. It's okay like this. And I'm gonna need some labels so I can recognize uh, what the view field does. So let's put minimum. Of course, I don't want to have it in the center. I'm gonna uh, put it on the left side. And the text is a little bit small, so let's uh, uh, make it a headline, so we can see something. I'm gonna just copy this. Here is gonna be my maximum, and here I'm gonna have the result. Underneath, I'm gonna have the result. button. I want to have a text for the button. So let's say um, uh, get random number. Get random number. 
and of course I want to have a bigger text uh, I will have want to have a bigger text for it uh, not font variables so oh, here it is let's make it a headline again now I would like to have a background uh, for this let's say template Again, this is uh, still not the template. I will show you how you should not use the visualization in code space. Probably we can do something like this to have it a little bit beautiful. Yeah, it's okay for now. It should not be perfect. This is not the, the case. So normally people just link the variables of the interface here like this. So you go to the text variables and just linked the variable, your interface. So we can find this one under applications. Of course, we have to give the whole path to the variable. So the interface is declared locally under my POC PRG. So we can find it there. And this is an input. So this is my minimum. So I want to have the interface in minimum. So that's one here. I won't, and of course, here we want to write the very values, and here we just want to read the values. So if we want to write the values, we have to go to the input configurations of the field and set the, let's say, on mouse click, and we want to write the, uh, the variable. We can choose, let's say, a numpad. To write this variable only this like this you can write a variable here so let's do the same thing for the maximum we can choose a text variable again from our interface this is local as I said and we want to write the variable on click with a numpad because we're gonna enter some numbers here we don't want to here we want uh, on, under the result we just want to read the value so we are not going to put any input for the button we can go again under input configurations and on a tab we can uh, go and just put the execute of course uh, under result we have to link the result result as well so under text variable just go to the out and link the result so pretty cool let's give this visualization a try we have linked all the variables and we can now test our visual Now, now it's running. Okay, perfect. Let's hit the play button. So I don't need this visual. I'm just going to show you local in my project, locally in my project. So let me just uh, make them next to each other. Oh, come on. So as you can see, all the values are zero. If I go here and put some value uh, with the numpad, let's say five as a minimum, you can see we receive five. 10 or 23 as a maximum, we receive 23. So when I press execute, the function block will generate a random number, 14, and you can see this. So every time I press the uh, generator, we're gonna generate a random number. So pretty simple. Let's say, that uh, you're, you have two, three, 10, 15 objects. So the wrong way to do uh, the objects in your, to visualize your objects in the visual is just to copy the object, paste it, and change, let's say, if we have second interface, like this, just for the fun. And just go to the to the uh, visual and then exchange every single uh, field 
or every single variable with uh, the two interface two. That's gonna be the wrong way to do it. Of course, you can do it, but let's say here I have four objects uh, or four fields. But if I have, let's say, in one object, if we have ten variables, you have to change, and you have five objects, you have to change fifty variables. That's a lot of time. You can uh, have an error. So just don't do that. That's that's not not cool. So now let's see the easy way and how to create the template. We're gonna need another visual, uh, visualization. So I'm gonna insert another one and I'm just gonna name it um, template. So for our template, I'm just gonna copy this object because it's already done. Um, let's say my background is 346 uh, and height is 236. I'm gonna um, go to the properties of my template and I'm gonna use the spe uh, a special visual size. So 346 in 236. Okay. That's okay. Let's just put it in place. Perfect. Now, we want to uh, put an interface under the interface editor. This is going to be uh, var in out, so a reference to the interface. So let's do it like this. Uh, F and let's say run num. And this is gonna be from type uh, structure run generator. This is our interface. So this is from type st run generator. Now we can replace all the variables in our uh, fields with this interface. So just just let us replace them. I'm gonna do it again. This is in and this is the minimum. So it's gonna be like this. Okay. Here I'm gonna put the maximum. It's gonna be input and this is the maximum. I'm gonna have the result. And here I'm gonna have the button. So on tap again the interface input and then we're gonna have the execute. So that's our interface now. Now we don't need those two or three or five or ten. We can delete them and use the frame object in our toolbox. Just pull the frame, choose the template and add it. So for every single object or for every single type that you have for random generator, for our random generator, you can now just uh, visualize the template. Let's say I will have two or three interfaces. So what I should do is just go there, put another frame from type template. This is going to be my second one. And let's do the other one just for fun. Okay, now we need the interfaces, of course. I have the second one and I'm gonna copy a third one just to have it. Uh, 
and let's copy the function block. Now we're going to have three objects from the same type. This is going to be the second, this is going to be the third one, second, and as I said, this is going to be the third one. Now, the only thing that we must do is we have to uh, go to uh, oh, I didn't declare the function blocks, so let me declare those. Of course, I'm going two and three. It's okay like this. And we can go to our main visualization and under reference, under the template, we can just choose an interface variable. So we don't need to exchange every single variable we just need to pass the interface. So a single interface is going to be passed to the template. So let's go and choose our interfaces. So this is the first one. This is the second one. And here I'm going to put the third one. That's it. We can log in again. My computer is a little bit slow today, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna get the job done. So let's have the first one from one to five. Um, the second one from, I don't know, uh, 10 to 20. And third one from 100 to 200. I'm going to generate some random numbers and as you can see in our program their interfaces are written down so we have uh, for every interface we have a different value so the only thing that you need to do for your template is just pass the interface to it so guys as I said, the visualization that I created, it's not uh, the perfect one, but I just want to show you how to create a template and pass an interface to it. Thank you for watching. And if you have uh, any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Have a good one.